Hey, welcome to today's tech blog. Uh, this one was on a special request. <clears throat> I recently had the opportunity to have my PlayStation 3 die on me, so I'm going to show you today how to replace the KES 400A laser on one of the first generation PlayStation 3s. Um, it's common that these go out and it's actually pretty easy just to replace the laser itself and not have to replace the whole entire drive. Um, this laser cost me uh, $54 and um, actually I think they jumped up to about $80 in the past two weeks so uh, I just got it before the price increase so hopefully they drop down but um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, swap it out. Um, tools you're going to need are a Torx 10 bit um, and that's a security bit it's got a hole in the end of it so that you can take out a security screw um, that's supposed to be tamper proof and, and uh, prevent you from opening the PlayStation 3 but we're going to go ahead and void the warranty today and uh, take that out you're going to need a driver for that um, you'll also need a large screwdriver and a really small screwdriver um, glasses screwdrivers work really well as well um, but the screws are in there pretty tight so and of course you'll need your uh, your new replacement laser and you can get those pretty much all over the place on eBay so uh, well let me get started by showing you how to first remove the tamper resistant screw on the PlayStation 3 okay so this is my PlayStation 3 and I'm going to show you how to uh, take the top off first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the warranty sticker this will make your warranty void so make sure you do not care about your warranty. Mine is from 2007, so it's three years old. So I do not have a warranty anymore. Um, now we're going to remove the little rubber foot. And this gives us access to the security screw. Now you're going to use a Torx 10 security bit. Um, and I had to put an adapter on here because it wasn't quite long enough to reach in there. Our security screw. Um, that's the only screw that you need to worry about that's a security screw. The rest of them are all going to be Phillips head. Slide the top off just like so and put that off to the side. Uh, the remainder of these are all Phillips head screws. Each one of them will be marked uh, with a little arrow. Go ahead and remove these screws. This is actually a small screw here, back in the corner. Okay, once you get all your screws out, as you can see they're fairly large, fairly long screws. So once you get all of those out, you just pull this forward and it just slides right off. And you set that to the side. Alright, this is your drive unit. This is actually pretty easy to change. Let me just move this out of the way. There's a power plug right here. Just wiggle it, pull that out. Flip it over and you'll see that there's a ribbon cable. All I gotta do is flip the little black latch and pull the cable out. Now you can put the rest of the PlayStation 3 off to the side. Oh, I did fail to mention. The very first time that you take your PlayStation 3 top off, on the next to the screw where the S is at, there's a little 
tab here that you'll need to put a screwdriver in there. Just kind of push this in and it'll pop the little lock off. I've had mine off so it doesn't lock anymore. Okay, I'm going to flip this drive over and start taking the screws out. This is where you'll want your small screwdriver because these are all pretty small screws. You got five of them. You got three right here. Oops. Let me get this out here to where you can see it. You got three right here. One, two, three. And you got two back here with a little metal foot. You want to make sure you keep track of that little metal foot. We'll put those here to the side. Try not to lose them. Now we just flip our drive back over. And what you're going to do is you're going to just pick up the back and then it just slides forward. And then the top comes off. Okay, you're going to take this little plastic piece out here and set it off to the side. There's a sticker holding the wire on here, and there's a sticker holding the wire onto the side. You're going to want to take the side sticker off. Some of the videos I've watched, they actually unplug this down here, but there's no need to really do that. And I'll show you why. Okay, again, you're going to need your small screwdriver. There's going to be extra screws here. There's one, two, three, four, five screws that you'll need to take out. Can you get them all loose? I just can't take it. Just kind of drop them all out without opening it up. Pull those off to the side. Okay. Now that those are out, basically where this wire is at, all you need to do is just flip it, just like so. No need to unplug the wire. And now we're to the inside. Now the fun part. This is your laser, right there. All we're going to do is we're going to unclip the ribbon cable here. Pull your ribbon out. And then there is going to be a screw here and a screw down here holding these little clips on that holds this bar across. All you got to do is take those two screws out and the laser will pull right out. Well, you got to take the clips out as well. But. These are extra small screws, so don't lose those. Okay, then you have to get your clip out here, a little bit helpful here, there we go, one clip there, there we go, and one clip there, alright, just move your laser up just slightly, just like so, pull your laser out. And there it is. Pull your bar out. And then you're going to want to remove this small plastic clip from this laser and put it on the other laser. Slide your bar back in, like so. Get the laser away. Move that forward. This little 
this little clip here is going to go underneath this bar and this plastic piece will reside on the top of the bar. Just dropped into place. Then you just put it back together just like you took it apart. So put your clips back on. I can try to show you what I'm doing without getting in your way. All right. So I got that clip on. I'll put a little screw on it. Put your ribbon cable back in, lock it into place, and you're done. You just put it back together just like you took it apart. Do not touch any of these plastic pieces here uh, because you could screw it up and it will not read discs after that uh, because it won't load the discs or it won't be able to actually spin the disc. So I just push that back up into place. Flip it over. Start putting my screws back in. It's got a little magnet, so that'll kind of just clip on. My little piece, put my sticker back on the side. I do just like you slid it backwards off, just slide it forwards on. There we go. And then it just two little clips on the back there that hold it in. Station 3 back here. Basically, put your ribbon cable in with the blue facing out. That little clip up there. Flip it back down. Put your little power wire back in. And it just sits there. Put the top back on, you just kind of go forward a little bit, and it just drops down. Small screw goes back here in the corner where the S. Top cart goes off to the side and you just slide it in. Put your security screw back in. foot and unvoid it <laughs> just kidding all right and that's it piece of cake now you go enjoy your PlayStation 3 again all right thanks for watching my video and hopefully this was uh, informative and will allow you to fix your PlayStation 3 as well okay thank you and goodbye